Hey, it's Miss Alana working on math, getting smarter and smarter, and being awesome and amazing just like you. We are working on today's math assignment. It is not Monday, Tuesday, December the 6th. We are on the back side. Make sure you have your sheet. I have mine. If you don't, write it on a piece of paper, all right? We are right here on the top, the first problem on the back side. Let's begin by reading the standard. It says number and operations in base 10. Perform operations with multi-digit whole numbers and with decimals to the hundreds, MGSE5, NBT5. Fluently multiply multi-digit whole numbers using the standard algorithm or other strategies demonstrating of multiplication up to a three-digit by two-digit factor. All right, let's begin. For this problem, we are going to use the standard algorithm and the area model to multiply these numbers together. All right, are you ready? If you know how to do them on your own, you could go ahead and do it and double check with me to make sure, or the video, to make sure you did those right. If not, I will show you how to do it. Let's begin with the standard algorithm. Let me scoot this up just a little bit. Now, the standard algorithm is when you write the numbers vertically and multiply that, okay? So let's write 592 times 41. Let's first multiply right here with this one. One times two is two. One times nine is nine. One times five is five. Oh, that was easy enough. We are done with that. I'm going to cross that out. We didn't put anything up top, so we don't need to cross anything out. Put our placeholder. Now we need to do what? Multiply by the 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 9 is 36. Now, if you struggle with your multiplication tables, with your facts, make sure you practice those every day. And I know reflex math is not working, but guess what? You can practice them on your own. You can use your agenda. There's a chart in there. Get some flashcards. You can even make your own flashcards, okay? So make sure you practice those every day. Four times five is 20 plus three is 23. Let's write that. And now what do we do? Let's add them together. 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 8. Start with the 9 in your mind. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Or you know 9 and 9 makes 18. And then since 8 is less than uh, 1 less, you could do 1 less. That's 17. Write the 7 plus 1 up top. 1 and 5 makes 6, and then plus 6 is 12. Or you know 5 and 6 makes 11 plus 1. No, 11 plus 1 is 12. So write the 2 plus 1 up top. 1 plus 3 makes a 4. And then bring down that 2. Let's put our comma. Count 1, 2, 3 places over. Bam, right there. 24,272. Now, you can check your work with the calculator, or let's, let's go ahead and do the other method, and that way you can see if you did that right. Huh, because remember yesterday, I messed up. I messed up on that, but I'm glad I caught my mistake, and I know some of you all caught my mistake before I found it, and some of you all, you did that with me, and we, we figured that out together. Let's do that one. So remember, we need to write each number in expanded form. So let's write that 500 plus 90 plus 2, all right? And then we're going to write the other one right here, which is 40 plus 1. And let us make our chart. When we multiply, you can go in any order you want to. I'm just going to go in order like this. Bam, bam, bam. All right. 40 times 500, was just like doing 4 times 5 is 20, and then add the three zeros. Now, don't get confused that 
at zero goes with that 20, okay? So make sure you have enough zeros for that one. One times 500 is 500. And I like to line them up. See, line them up. And 40 times 90 is, same thing as 4 times 9, 36. Add two zeros and then put your comma in the right spot. 1 times 90 is 90. 40 times 2 is like 4 times 2 is 8. Add that at 0. And then 2 times 1 is 2. All right, now, now we're not done. What do we have to do? Add them all together. So let's write those down. 20,000. I need to make sure I have enough space. Plus, I'll do that one next since that one's the next largest number. 3,600. Make sure they're lined up. Then that one's the next largest. 500. Then 90. Then 80. Then 2. All right, now, you know, remember yesterday I messed up because I didn't write the answer, the numbers right. Let me make sure. All right, now let's add that together. All right, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 9 and 8. 9 and 8, that makes what? 17 plus 1 up top. 1 and 6 makes 7 plus 5 is 12. Or 6 and 5 makes 11 plus 1 is 12. Or we could do that 1 and 5 is 6. And 6 is 12. Write the 2 plus 1 up top. 1, 0, and 3 makes 4. And then bring that 2 down. Let's put our comma. 1, 2, 3. Bam. Right there. 24,272. Yes. It matches. They match. Yes, we did it right. We did it right both ways. You can even get a calculator and check your work out. So remember, two strategies we did, standard algorithm, area model, two different ways to get the same answer. Which way do you prefer? Do you like the standard algorithm? Or do you prefer the area model? Or do you like both because you love math? Yes. All right. Now, we are done with this question, this problem, this standard. Make sure you find the other videos if you need help with those. If not, do them on your own, then check your work. Till I see you. Love you.